The HP Billiton is the world's largest diversified natural resources group with a market cap of 1.7 trillion rand. It was created by Brian Gilbertson in 2001 through the merger of the Australian Broken Hill Proprietary Company and the Anglo-Dutch South African Billiton. It trades on a price earnings ratio of 13.7 and a dividend yield of 2.9%. And of course, we've also got that change of management happening mm. at the moment. Marius Klopes is on his way out. And we have a new captain of the ship. <laughs> yes, that shocked me because, you know, of course, being South African, I just have felt that he's the best CEO in the universe. But I mean, he having kind of made his career with that acquisition of Olympic Dam really you know, got to the top. But I suppose the bulletin board is a very tough and uncompromising one, led by Jacques Nasser, who's a ex-motor industry guy, people like Dave Brunk and others on the board. So they're constantly on the lookout for fresh talent. Andrew McKenzie, the new CEO, was actually hired by Kloppers. He's an ex-BP uh, oil guy who was in Rio Tinto for a while. Irish, he's Irish. Scottish, I Scottish. thought. But, um, you know, he, he certainly is extremely experienced in terms of the business. And it appears that what the board want is someone who's not expansion oriented, but rather focused on uh, asset optimization. And there's talk that they're going to dispose of more assets in the months ahead. Do you like the move? Let's talk about the management change. And, and we have pointed out previously that of the four big diversified miners, all the captains of industry that led them through the tough financial crisis, we're seeing changes in the management teams across the board. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, they all are without captains. Uh, they've been blamed by shareholders and uh, collectively by their boards uh, uh, for the dip in uh, commodity prices or the dip in profits more it's importantly. It's not really fair, is it? And I don't think it's fair. Uh, I think a number of them have been able to uh, to steer clear of danger and have probably done the best that they could. However, um, maybe uh, in, in this particular instance, fresh blood uh, was required. A lot of good work was done by, by Kloppers. And we're looking forward to see this, uh, this management uh, steer bulletin in the right direction. This particular business is a sum of all of the commodities uh, and when we find massive shifts in demand and massive com uh, currency shifts as we've noticed in the last few years, Bulletin finds the brunt of it. It's not just a mining giant, it's involved in oil and gas exploration and has a That's the beauty of BHP, it BHP it's Bulletin, it's so well diversified. Sufficiently diversified, it's not just precious metals, it includes uh, a lot of industrial application metals and for that reason it becomes the darling of the markets, not just in South Africa, uh, but Aust Australia and, and London. Well, let's well. talk about share price mm. right now and, and what you expect going forward, Paul. I expect great things. I'm extremely optimistic about this. Uh, it all comes down to China in the near term. And you know, the Chinese, they've just got a new premier. They're renewing their plans to kind of press ahead with infrastructure development. Yeah, they're like 5,000 pigs floating down the river to Shanghai. They've got environmental disasters breaking out left, right and centre, but the reality is they've got 300 million people that they want to move to the cities, all of which requires you know, substantial steel production to build all the roads and the buildings and all the rest of it. They're pushing ahead on consumption of uh, demand as well, so there'll be cars built, there'll be air conditioners, all that sort of rubbish. So the fact is, I think iron ore sales are going to be strong. Billiton's got the best assets in Northern Australia to supply that market. So really, I think it's going to continue to deliver very strong earnings growth. The oil will be fabulous. The copper assets in Chile are wonderful. So all I and see here is good news. Imagine if you had picked it up news. at that level, uh, just uh, 2009, just pre exactly. prior That's to that. Exactly, that's 135 Rand a share. You could have bought them. Did, did you buy at those Well, we were levels. buying them all the years before. We've owned this stock in our client base, and they got to 325 at the peak and they're below 300 or around 300 now. So they've done a lot of improvements Did since you then. hold them through the crash? Absolutely, we didn't sell any, and that's the nature of our investment process. Certainly we're in this one all along. Levan, at current levels, would you be deploying new cash? 
I think it's certainly an attractive buy. Uh, the case that Paul has mentioned for commodities holds true for Billiton. Certainly the uh, global appetite for the diverse commodity base that they work from, uh, there's a sufficient case for all the industrial applicators. I believe that energy might see some near-term weakness, but overall still a profitable business for them. Precious metals uh, will, will find their own in 2013, 2014. Billiton for me is a strong buy. Hot or not, Paul? Yes, you know, Ivan Glassenberg, the Glenn Strata CEO, made a fabulous comment recently. He said, these miners have got to stop building stuff. So I think that's in a sense what the board has done and I think Billiton is going to stop expanding so much prices should rise. So definitely hot on this one. Hot or not, Levan? Very much hot. 